Welcome to our webinar for secondary claims. In this training, we will go over the module preferences for secondary claims, where to set COB, and how to create secondary claims. We'll start in the family module, which is the second module within Open Dental on the left-hand side. This is where we enter insurance for our patients. The insurance plan listed second in the family module is considered secondary insurance. Adding a secondary is the same process as adding a primary insurance. We will quickly add an insurance onto this patient. With the Add button at the top of the family module for Add Insurance, choose whether your patient is the subscriber or not. If they're not the subscriber, saying no will give you a list of other family members to be able to choose from their insurances or non-patients in your system who have insurance for this particular patient. If your patient has had insurance in the past that was dropped, the Select Insurance Plan window will populate with the available insurances for that patient, or you can choose to add in a new plan in your system if it is not the one that he's had in the past. Clicking OK will add that insurance onto our patient, but it will still give you the ability to edit the insurances before clicking OK to add. Once you've clicked OK to that insurance, you'll notice the heading at the top of our insurance plan section reads primary and secondary. Adding additional insurances such as tertiary or medical insurances onto this patient with the add insurance button is done the same way and will indicate on the top heading what type of insurance they are. If for some reason you've added an insurance out of order, such as secondary first and then receiving primary from the patient when they show up for their appointment, a quick double click into the insurance plan will allow you to change the order from one, two, three, or more to the order in which those insurance plans should be listed on your patient. In the secondary insurance plan, the other insurance info tab is also going to come into being handy. The other insurance info window is going to allow you to choose the COB rule that corresponds to that secondary insurance. The COB rule, also known as coordination of benefits, are the rules for how insurance pays when a patient has coverage under more than one plan. Open Dental has the following different COB options. Basic, where secondary pays the lesser of the amount that it would have paid in the absence of other coverage, or the secondary allowed amount minus what primary paid, whichever is the lesser. Standard, which the secondary will pay the lesser of the amount that it would have paid in the absence of any other coverage, or the patient's portion under the primary plan. Carve-out, also known as non-duplication, secondary reduces what they will pay by what primary has already paid. And secondary Medicaid, secondary reduces what they pay by what primary pays. The estimated patient portion then becomes a write-off for the secondary insurance. You may also find more detailed information regarding COBs with examples on our website. See the website link in the comment section below this video. For now, with this secondary insurance, we will set it to the standard COB rule, which defaults in Open Dental. Clicking OK will update that information on our plan. If the patient's benefit breakdown does not indicate how the insurance will pay in the presence of other coverage, you may need to contact the insurance carrier to find out. This will help your treatment presentation to be more accurate. Now let's look at our module preferences for secondary claims. First, we'll go to the Family Module Preferences found under Setup, Family Insurance, and Family Preferences. This is where you can change coordination of benefits COB rule to be a different COB rule for all of your insurance plans from the beginning. Its default set is to standard. We will also go into the account module preferences, which can be found under the account tab at the top of the module preferences window, 
or by going to set up an account and we're going to check the insurance section here. The prompt for secondary claims window. If this option is checked, you will receive a pop-up with three automation options, which will show a little later during this webinar. If the account module preference to prompt for secondary claims is unchecked, you will only see a list of secondary claims that need to be created, but no automation will happen. For the example today, I'm going to choose for it to prompt to have that secondary claim created and options for sending. We will now move on to the treatment plan module. On the left hand side of Open Dental, two below the family module. As you can see, we have estimates for both primary and secondary insurances off of the information that was entered in for each plan. You may see more detailed information on these estimates and how they are calculated by double clicking into the procedure. Here you'll see the estimates for both primary and secondary claim. Changing the COB role in the secondary insurance plan will only change the estimate of what secondary will pay and the patient's portion accordingly. I'm going to double click into the secondary's insurance estimate to show you a detailed breakdown of how Open Dental is doing the calculations. Double clicking into the insurance estimates and payment section on the line item specifically for secondary insurance and we'll move that over. To do a brief calculation with you to make this less confusing, I'm going to pull up my calculator and show you how Open Dental is doing the math. Our allowed amount of 350 multiplied by the 60% that the insurance is expected to pay is going to give us that our secondary insurance is expected to cover $210. In the current example I have, it is set to the standard COB rule. This means that secondary pays what it would have paid if it was the only insurance that patient had, or the patient's portion under the primary plan, whichever is less. In this case, our insurance is expected to pay $210. If I go back into what my primary is expected to pay, it says my patient's portion should be $291.50. So the lesser of those two amounts is the $210, which is why it's not paying what my patient portion is here. Going back into this window, our insurance estimate of the $210 is what our insurance is expected to pay, which is the lesser of those $2 amounts. To move this over for comparison, we'll leave our standard view on the left-hand side. And if we had changed that secondary insurance plan to being a basic calculation, our window would look like this. $350 multiplied by that 60% should have given us 210. But our insurance estimate down here is now 108.50. With this example, secondary will pay would have would have paid if the other it was the only insurance, or the secondary allowed amount minus what primary has paid, whichever is less. In this case, it's going off our allowed amount of 350 minus what our primary insurance has already paid, which is 241.50 giving us the total of $108.50 that's now what our secondary insurance is going to pay as it is less than $210. To give the next example, which is carve out, which is the next COB type that you can change it to, carve out shows as 350 with our percentage of 60%. However, this is showing our secondary insurance is expected to pay nothing. With this example, 
also known as non-duplication, secondary reduces what it will pay by what primary has already paid. In this case, primary has already paid $241.50 and our insurance would have paid $210. However, the primary insurance has already paid $241.50, which is higher than the $210 that our secondary would have covered. So secondary insurance is not expected to pay anything. Our final example is if secondary is a Medicaid plan. You'll notice on here our 350 for our secondary insurance, the 60% where they normally would have paid 210. This one goes back to similar to how the basic rule is of paying the lesser of the two of 10850. But now we can also indicate that there is a write-off as patients should not be required to pay a portion under your Medicaid plans. This moves the remaining patient portion as a write-off. Other things that might affect secondary are procedures marked as do not bill to insurance. You'll notice on our example for our treatment plan that this procedure is being paid a little differently and our allowed box has an X through it. If we double click into this procedure, you'll notice that it is marked as a do not bill to insurance procedure. And it can also be controlled based on the specific insurance plans. So if primary will not cover this plan at all, you'll notice here that it's marked as a no bill to insurance for that specific insurance. This can be edited on either insurance plan by double clicking into the insurance estimate and checking or unchecking the box for that specific insurance for do not bill to this insurance. Unchecking the box will bring back those insurance estimates for the plan. Next, we will set the appointment complete with the procedures that we used in the example today and move into the account module. In the account module, you will highlight your procedures and click on New Claim. Verify the claim information. And when we click OK, you'll notice that not only does it create a primary claim for me, but also creates a secondary claim marked as hold until primary is received. This claim will stay in the patient's account with the hold status until sent. If you need to manually create a secondary claim, highlight the procedures and then click on the drop down next to the new claim button to choose secondary, medical, or other for tertiary insurances or more. This is needed if the secondary plan was added after creating the primary claim, as Open Dental would not know to automatically add that secondary claim. We will quickly receive this insurance claim by double clicking into it. In the top right hand corner is our by procedure payment button. We'll verify the insurance payment dollar amounts as well as the total of our check at the bottom to make sure that they match and click OK. Clicking on the this claim only button will allow you to finalize just this claim, verify any of the check details choosing what payment type this is actually for, electronic funds transfer or virtual credit card, and clicking OK. You will then be able to scan in the EOB for the primary insurance if you wish. You'll notice that I get a pop-up window asking about my secondary claim. There is at least one unsent secondary claim for the received procedures. The options are to change the claim status to waiting to send so that it will show on our claims not sent report or in the manage module under the send claims button. The send secondary claim now will automatically send your claim to your clearinghouse. If you are using a clearinghouse that allows the 5010 format, 
It will include the details of what the primary insurance already paid when sending the secondary claim now. The do nothing option can be used if the patient has dual coverage from the same insurance carrier and that carrier already paid for both primary and secondary at the same time, or do now to decide if you're going to delete that claim later and delete out the insurance estimates from the procedures, or if primary paid in full and you don't intend on sending the secondary claim. For this example, we're going to choose the do nothing option and click OK. You'll notice the secondary is still listed as hold until primary is received. If you choose to do nothing in error, you can always change the status of the claim to the waiting to send status by double clicking and changing the claim status up at the top to waiting to send to have it show in your outstanding need to be sent claims report. Or you can delete off the claim if you don't intend to send it. Our claims waiting to send are in the Manage module under the Send Claims button in the top left-hand corner. Scrolling down will show you any claims that have not been sent that need to be sent. The Send Claims button up here at the top will allow you to send claims electronically, or highlighting specific claims and clicking on the Print button will allow you to print. you'll notice the secondary claim is available for our current patient. If you are sending claims electronically and sending in the 5010 format, once again, the claim information sent to the clearinghouse will include the primary claim payment information. If you're sending electronically in 4010 format, the claim information sent to the clearinghouses will not include primary claim payment information, and you will need to mail in the EOB to that insurance carrier. You can see which format your office is sending by going to Setup, Family Insurance, and Clearinghouses, and double-click into your Clearinghouse Setup. The format option list listed at the bottom indicates which format you're sending in. The 5010 format includes what primary has already paid when it sends the claim to secondary insurance. The 4010 format does not. If you are not sure which format your clearinghouse sends the information in, please make sure to contact your clearinghouse for that information. This was a brief overview of the secondary claims. Thank you for joining us for this webinar. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 503-363-5432.